This economy has actually helped keep couples together, but it's not always for the best. Hard times makes divorce even more costly, but is staying unhappily married the answer? Let's ask divorce attorney Vicki Ziegler, who joins us right now. How are you, Vicki? Great. How are you? Good to see you. Yeah. Uh, this is really actually a, a bad news story in a lot of different ways, but on the surface you've got housing values that are so low, mm -hmm. people are actually staying together so they don't have to deal with having to get, get rid of the house, right? Yeah, I mean, I have so many clients right now that can't even sell their homes. They've been on the market for at least a year or two. That's a major problem. And then when they do sell, obviously their equity is much lower. And it's a major problem. A lot of people can't even afford to pay their mortgages on time, and they can't refinance for problems uh, we all know about and it's really causing a problem so people are thinking about uh, the financial impact of one household becoming two and saying you know what maybe let's ride out this real estate uh, problem in the yep. values the credit crunch uh, unemployment and maybe we'll get divorced later on but it's really disheartening that, that would never work would it Tracy waiting to get divorced you're just setting me up i'm just I'm, I'm, I'm asking somebody i'm asking nothing somebody expert i'm asking for expert these, advice nothing good can come out of that so what we're seeing though yeah. is we have unhappy couples living together mm -hmm. so we're seeing domestic violence on the rise oh. yes i mean we're it's there's a lot of awful things coming out of this just to save a few dollars yeah it's really not the right way to go in my opinion listen people are having financial problems throughout the country and we understand that that exacerbates divorce mm -hmm. uh, and the reasons for people running to file complaints for divorce but really it's about your happiness showing the ch your children what a real relationship looks like so listen if your house doesn't sell and you have to live in separate bedrooms um, you know you have to do it but you can't stay together just because we're in a bad economy and that's what people are doing unfortunately you add another layer like myself right. attorneys fees yeah. people can't afford it there really is debt upon debt that's being uh, condensed the problem is what do you do and that's the you know people come to me and say well you're the panacea you're the divorce attorney tell us what what is the solution? There really aren't so many great solutions out there. If you can't move out of your house, you can't purchase a new one because you can't acquire a new loan, uh, you're not going to qualify, what do you do? Sometimes you do have to ride out the storm, but you know what? You separate so you can at least live in a healthy, stable environment, you well, know, un not together. It must be impossible for you. Here you are, you spent all this, all this time in law school, you, yeah. you spent all this time practicing, you know, you, you, you want to say, look, by the letter of the law, XXX. Now all of a sudden you have to say by the letter of the law, oh, and also let me be a marriage counselor to you. You've got to fill, you know, wear both these hats. Talk to me about frustration levels and, you know, I'm very proud of my settlement rate. It's about 99% and that was before this economic uh, turmoil occurred. So I can't really tell you that you can settle every case now. The money's not there. You know, you're really allocating debt at this point. And right. you know what? If you're allocating debt, we can't get paid and we really can't solve the problems because there's really no liquidity. Mm -hmm. So it's a major problem for everybody throughout the country. And it's great if the employment rates um, you know, are not continuing to increase and we're seeing that uh, the news is saying that they're stabilized, but people don't have the income they used to, uh, or maybe not at all. They can't keep their financial status quo afloat. They can't pay their marital bills. That creates debt. They start borrowing and it's a major problem. Talk about the high end or just anybody, I guess, who's mm -hmm. been divorced now. You got yeah. a divorce decree. It says that mm -hmm. one of the spouses has to pay X amount in alimony. Yes. That was based mm -hmm. on my big fat bonus yes. and all this stuff. Mm -hmm. And that's gone. Yeah. So we're great seeing point. more cases come back to court being reopened. Right? Yes, very, gr I mean, excellent point. And what you're seeing is statistics say, oh, divorce is on the rise and marriage is on the rise as well, uh, uh, marriage is on the decline. But what we're seeing is an increase in these post-judgment applications that you mentioned. And basically people are saying, I can't afford to live by this agreement. I used to make a million dollars a year five years ago. I'm making a hundred thousand dollars now. So you can't keep me at that standard. Mm. This argument, when I started practicing 11 years ago, would never fly. Judges would throw those cases out and say, hey, yeah, you're divorce planning, no way. Now it's a reality. The last yeah. three years really make it a problem for people to continue that status quo, continue to pay what they agreed to ultimately, and courts are having ability to pay hearings and reviewing the cases on a fact-by-fact -fact basis. Major problem, keeping us busy, but there's real yeah. no answer in sight. Right. Prenups keeping you busy? I mean, are you doing a lot more I did of those? 10 prenups in the last two months, the most I've ever done in really? the history. Um, Post-nuptial agreements. We heard about Tiger Woods and was Elon Woods going to do a post-nup? We weren't sure. Those are becoming more popular because what are people saying? We may get divorced, we may not, we're not sure, but let's renegotiate now so we don't have to pay legal fees to fight it out. Renegotiate.
Oh, yes, yes. whatever happened to true love, Tracy? Oh, let me tell <laughs> you, you don't want to marry me a second time, man. There's going to be teams of legal people all around. I'm sorry. Your it's legal good team. Good Vic, team. Vicky will be heading up your legal, the dream <laughs> team. Your legal dream team, all right? You don't want to come near. It's, not, it's just not worth it. It's oh not God. worth it. It's not going to be worth it. I'm Thank sorry. Thank you, Vicky. Thank, Thank you so much you. for joining us. Vicky Thank Ziegler, uh, matrimonial law and civil litigation practicing uh, divorce attorney. Boy, get him. She, I mean, you, and, and I was serious when I said... Not only, I mean, an attorney, you think an attorney would say, every time you talk to an attorney, they, well, legally, well, according to the law, she can't just say that. She has to be some sort of a, uh, a marriage counselor as well because they have people coming in there. And you can say, well, legally, this is the deal. Well, but or you, you got to be really creative, right? Do you just sell the house at a loss and move on? I mean, I think that would be my, that would be my answer. Just money is not the key to happiness. Cut your loss, mm -hmm. sell the house, go get an apartment, and let's start over. All right.